This setup right here has changed our live stream more than anything else that we have done. And I wanna walk you through our roaming camera setup because it's changed a little bit, maybe a lot, over the last couple of years. Previously, we used a Panasonic GH4 with a really big 70 to 200 Canon EF lens on a monopod. And while that really was a good starting point for us, this unit right here allows us to get some really dynamic shots. And I think it's the best thing you can do to enhance your church's live stream to take it to the next level. So this unit right here is made up of the Panasonic GH5. I would recommend going with the GH5 Mark II because they're really even cheaper than an old GH5 and just a little bit better. I like this camera because it has really good sensor stabilization. We combine that with the Panasonic 35 to 100 constant f2.8 aperture lens that also has lens stabilization. And when their powers combine, they become very, very stable. We actually handhold one of these on side stage uh, as another roaming camera operator, and it works really well for that. But you can't get quite as dynamic of shots as you can when you combine it with a motorized gimbal. This is the DJI RS2C, R RSC. <laughs> There's a lot of models out there. This is the cheaper model, and it works really well for a camera of this size. I would say for, if you're starting out, I would probably recommend the DJI RS3 because it's only like maybe 100, 200 bucks more than this unit, and it just can hold a little bit more weight and can offset some of your balance issues that you might encounter because uh, the other part of this puzzle is this wireless unit. I like this DJI because it has the quarter 20 thread mounting point where we can mount our Teradek Ace 500 wireless HDMI unit to, and then we have a really thin HDMI cable, which I think is an often overlooked part of a roaming setup. So that way it doesn't throw off your balance too much whenever you're using this gimbal. But the Ace 500 is a zero latency. That's the cheapest that I've been able to find. I've tested a lot of them, Hollyland, some other ones. The Teradek Ace 500 is really still my favorite. We have two of them that we use and they're rock solid. They really are, but they are HDMI only. So that, you know, is a consideration if you're using a different camera, but I really like this whole combination. Uh, I'll put some stuff on the screen here, some different shots we can achieve like this, uh, parallaxing behind the audience and using the different focal lengths of the 35 to 100 to either get a really tight parallax or a wider shot. And it really kind of can take the place of a Defy Rhythm track. You just have to have an operator that, you know, has practiced with it. And that's one thing that I did is I brought all of our camera operators in. We actually tested and trained. Here's how you walk. There's a little bit of technique to it, the ninja walk and being able to make sure you're looking and not hitting anyone when you walk and, and parallaxing the camera and twisting the handle as you go and being able to use the autofocus, not continuous autofocus, but our guys will touch on the screen to grab focus. We're like a pocket 4K, you just can't do that and then they'll make their move. Micro Four Thirds keeps a little bit more in focus because it's not quite as much depth of field. And so that's another strength. So we're running these in 2997 for our setting. So uh, 60 on the shutter and usually in our setting around 800, 640 on the ISO and the image looks really good. So I'm gonna link all of this package in the description of this video, and I wanna thank Tyler from the Fam TV for reaching out and asking this question about what I would recommend, uh, because this really has taken our stream to the next level. We use this for video announcements outside last week with this uh, wireless unit. Um, it, it just gives you so much more flexibility than your locked off different shots that you're switching between. If you don't have any camera operators, but maybe you can train somebody, to grab one of these, maybe start off handheld or on a monopod, and then just ease your way into that roaming ecosystem. But this unit will give you the flexibility to kind of be creative with your live stream. And uh, that that's really important as we try to keep the people that are watching online engaged and to feel like they're a part of the worship service. This camera shot, you're in the audience and it really helps that translate well. So check out the links in the description. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about this setup uh, underneath the video. Like if uh, this has been helpful to you and subscribe to the channel. 
And if you'd like to see our complete setup of our broadcast system and all the camera angles that we have, I actually did a recent tech tour of our building. I'll link to right here. And also in the description, I will link to a download for our ProPresenter uh, lower thirds template that we use for our lyrics that I think really does help um, just with the live stream, clarity of the lyrics, making things look a little more cinematic. You can download that for free there if you haven't already grabbed it. Remember guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory.